Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're going to be talking about the Uber PA from Alto. Now, this is a little different. I have a headset on. It's actually plugged into the Uber, so this way you can hear what it sounds like. 12 feet away from me is the actual microphone that I use. So that's what's plugged into the camera, and that is the Marantz MPM 3000. So it's 12 feet away, so this way you get a good sound of what this is going to be like further away. So what do we have? We've got a 16 and a half pound portable rechargeable speaker with Bluetooth, two mic inputs that can be switched to line inputs as well. And we also have an auxiliary line where the Bluetooth is located right off the side. Master volume output. So this way you can adjust your mic inputs and have no problem getting that sound to balance on your output volume for the actual speaker. Now, it's the amazing part. This is the part that I don't get, but this is how it is. So many companies are just kind of like, you know, putting what I call internet watts on the box. And that's become normal and we all see that all the time and they come up with crazy numbers. Now this one, it's kind of crazy in the other direction. This speaker only says 50, uh, 50 watts peak or 50 watts max or whatever they want, but it's 25 watts RMS. But at the same time, it's crazy loud. Uh, we're gonna do a sound test with it in the back just to show you. So, but what you can do with this is an amazing amount of things. Now, they give you combo jacks on it. What that means is that it's quarter inch and XLR. So it doesn't matter what kind of cable you have, it will fit in here. So if one of your friends are coming out with you, they need to plug in, let's say they have a regular mic with a quarter inch cable, it still works as a microphone. Just switch it over to mic and off you go. Uh, at the same time as that, the Bluetooth, you basically just tap it on top to connect tap it again to disconnect it's that straightforward and easy so that's a nice feature now i like how they they i don't know if they were running out of things to write down but you know they decided to say oh it has a catch tray on top so somewhere nice to put your phone so if i take my phone out of my case so this way it's now going to be connected to the actual system just like that so now it's connected easy peasy it's all done if i want to put my phone somewhere safe i can do that that's what they're saying so that's what's there now internally uh, you've got a rechargeable battery and they're saying oh it gets about 50 hours of play time i don't know i've been playing it like for a couple of days now it hasn't died yet uh, so if you're off and on with it and it's always on it's going to do pretty good so right now i mean it still says that it's full charge so i mean what can i say it's going to last an awful long time it's a it's a pretty big battery uh it's somewhere around five amp hours uh the atypical big giant ones uh big 15 inch ones they only put a seven and a half amp hour battery in that so that's an awful lot of battery in a very small package. Also, that being said, package wise. So this isn't just particle board like a lot of other ones. This is all molded plastic from top to bottom. Uh, so that's a really big plus. Uh, if it gets wet, just wipe it off. It's not gonna rot or it's not gonna decay. It's not gonna damage easily. It's got two big handles on the side. So that worked out really, really well. It even has a line output. So if you had another speaker you had to plug into or something bigger, the PA out of you need to go just plug it in there and off you go the speaker that's built into it is a six and a half inch and they say it's got a two inch tweeter so to me that I'm thinking more mid-range tweeter uh, which is good because it fills everything in so that's what's going on right there now for options the, the important thing here is, is in the states it's $150 and in Canada it's 200 bucks so if you're on a budget and you need something loud something good something easy to use and something very very portable this is the way to go so I mean, pretty straightforward stuff. In the back, we've got our AC attachment, and you can do things like plug in a corded microphone into it, just like there. So if I want that instead, I can easily just take this, plug that in, make sure the volume's down, plug that in, and I'm all set. Basically now I just turn up the volume on this guy. I'm gonna move my mic away for a second, just like that. And I'm gonna turn this guy up instead. So now here I am with my actual microphone on instead so now i have the mic on this happens to be a sure pgm uh sorry pga 58 now the pga 58 also comes in a kit so if you're looking for a live mic and you want reliability this is probably a really good way to go so if i bring back my headset now this is another cool part now here i am i'm wireless this is a battery operated headset for a reasonable price again 50 ish dollars in the states and around you know 70 dollars in canada 
what you get here is completely operates on battery. It's UHF, it's in the license spectrum, so no worries there. And you have the option of using the actual built-in USB charger in the speaker to power the receiver if you don't wanna buy batteries for that. Uh, that is basically a product that Pile makes. It's called a PDWM 13 UH. It's actually a very nice, uh, good range, good sound quality uh, headset that you could also buy as a handheld microphone. So if you're looking for a completely wireless solution uh, for, again, a reasonable price, uh, in the States, you can probably get this and the microphone set up for around $200, and in Canada, it's like gonna be around 270. If you're looking for a microphone that you need to stand up, uh, and you need a stand, have a look for the PGA 58 uh, BTS. That's their stand kit. So it has an onstage stand inside of a cable and microphone. And for live work, that's a really nice way to go too. So, but as for the speaker goes, what we'll do now is we'll take it in the back. We'll give it a sound test so this way you really get to hear what it sounds like from a distance. We'll make sure and get the microphone nice and far away. And uh, you have a pretty good idea. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, sometimes there's just, you know, there's always better. You can spend a thousand dollars and you're gonna get a thousand dollars worth of speaker. But are you gonna use that thousand dollars worth of speaker? Sometimes, uh, if you know something like this sounds this good and it's this easy to work, this is gonna be perfect. So it's not for everybody, but for anybody who's doing any street performance, uh, any magicians, you know, musicians, anything like that, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, one other thing, I, I, you know, try and think of other ways to use a product. Uh, this may sound odd, but I do get a lot of folks that play bass guitar. Uh, they go camping, stuff like that, and they can't play their, well, guitar next to the fire. So they were buying, you know, bigger powered speakers, stuff like This will work. This will do that job. Uh, if you, you know, you want to be able to play your bass guitar while camping, there you go. So everybody plays acoustic, doesn't think twice of this. But of course, you know, if you play bass guitar, this is important. So you're all set. Plus you have the ability, if you wanted a party speaker for the backyard, you just want something to bring out on the deck with you, uh, you know, you're going to get a killer amount of volume out of this thing. That's the big, big plus about it. And remember, extremely portable, not too heavy, and you can use it for anything. Uh, at home, you can probably even use it for karaoke. There's no problem with doing that. You can pair your TV off to it or your phone or tablet right to the unit, and, uh, and you're all set. Now, of course, it doesn't have any effects on it, so there's no reverb or echo or anything like that part of the system. But, I mean, if you have something else to plug into it, perfect. A lot of times you're just looking for that actual speaker with a lot of volume to it. There you go. So let's take a listen to it in the back and we'll come back to the table. Okay, so here we go. We've got this set up uh, 16 to 18 feet away with the actual microphone being behind the camera, the NPM at 3000 from Rant. And there it is, that's the Uber PA. Now, we're gonna turn it up so this way you get a sound test. And I, I think if you're playing for a crowd, this is probably reasonable. People will be around you and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, paint the picture and uh, we'll turn it up now. Now the actual system's at about 50% volume. Uh, the mic's set at 50%, the master volume set at 50%, and the Bluetooth on the unit, uh, which is the line input on 3.4, is also at 50%. So I think we pretty much covered it when it comes to sound again. Uh, you're not playing it for larger than a, you know, a dozen folks uh, at a time, I guess, and drawing attention to yourself. So again, if you're using it for announcements, if you're using it for any type of services at all, it's a good setup. So have a look for it. We'll bring it back to the table now and uh, we'll wrap it up. So there you go. That's Pretty awesome. I mean, like I said, 
you can play anything you want on it's gonna be fun I mean yes absolutely the original concept was probably for you know somebody just performing on the street needing a portable speaker uh, but I mean everybody can enjoy this there's not a lot of reasons not to buy one if this is in the right size uh, you know if you're buying just something to have a party speaker just to play music on uh, probably one of the best ways to spend $150 or 200 in Canada uh, so I mean you can't miss out on that part that's for sure we're gonna have it here we'll have links again back to our uh, Amazon affiliate page which can bring you to Alto because uh, currently I'm sorry to say it's not actually in amazon.com right now but use the link have a look it'll probably be updated soon and uh, you'll be able to get it from there as well so We'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe because we're getting close to 5,000, which is, by the way, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching the videos, do that. If you'd like to know when the next video is coming up, there's a bell there somewhere. Anyways, you can press that. It'll do all that kind of stuff for you. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.